Yeah, the gospel is in the seasons. In fact, in Genesis chapter 1, God created, it says he created the seasons. And in it, you see the good news because there's the fall, right? The fall of man. And then you see the that winter comes and there's snow. Remember, Jesus said he'll make your sins as white as snow. It's in Isaiah, right? Isaiah 118. And then there's the spring where everything springs up to new life. And that's when Jesus was raised from the dead. And it was in the springtime when that happened. And then what happens? Summer comes and there's a beautiful uh, fruit grows again. And it's a place of paradise once again that we're promised to go to if we believe in Jesus. He's the only way to heaven. And that's what you're going to see in this episode. And I'm so excited about it. Let's get into it, guys, right now. Okay, the seasons, right? All right, let's check it out. So Genesis 1.14, he says, Then God said, it says in it, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and they shall serve as signs and for seasons and for days and years. So what do we see here? We see the fall of, right? And then we see winter, and then we see spring, and we see summer. So when Adam and Eve were, when they were in that perfect, beautiful paradise, the garden of God, it was a place that God prepared for them and it was beautiful and it was just perfect. And there was good fruit on the trees. There's lions that wouldn't eat you. There was elephants that would just hang out with you, birds. And, and man, actually, humankind actually had fellowship with the animals. This was an amazing thing, you guys. And, and he had fellowship with God. God would come and visit him in the cool of the day and, he, and they would walk with him and talk with him. And it was a place of perfect fellowship and perfect paradise. But then what happened? Well, they took of the fruit that was forbidden, the, the, the fruit of knowledge of good and evil. And then death came and sin came. And then so there was death, right? Now imagine it as seasons. There was the summer and the harvest, this beautiful late summertime. But then the fall came where the, the leaf dies and it falls to the ground to become dirty and like dust again. So that's what we see now. We see that there was the fall of humankind, right? And then... It was these, this dead leaf is on the ground. Imagine it. It's getting trampled and muddied up and dirty. But then the, the winter comes, this beautiful winter and the snow covers the sin and it's, it's made as white as snow. And the snow is like a reservoir of water over it, waiting to, to melt and pour down into water, uh, new life that will come up. And then Jesus being the first fruit, right? Remember Jesus said that a grain must die and then it, it become like a seed and then it will grow new life. So here we see spring showing the picture of the resurrection, new life or being born again, right? Jesus was the first fruit born again to new life. And we too, my friend, could be born again through him because of what he did. And so we see spring, new life springs up, being born again, and then we can go back to summer again. So that's the whole gospel in the seasons, you guys. So remember, there was this perfect paradise. We'll be back in perfect paradise once again, and it'll, there'll be good fruit again and, and, and fellowship at a time where beautiful things will remember what happened in the fall, the fall of, of mankind, where your sins are as scarlet, but they shall be made as white as snow. We'll remember what God did for us and we'll praise and worship him forever. We'll remember that we were a dead leaf, so to speak, trampled in the dirt and in the grime and withered away and dead because of our sin. But then the snow comes, the like the manna from heaven, and it covers our, our sin and makes it as white as snow. And then what happens? Summer comes, melts that reservoir of water, which we call snow, and new life springs up out of the earth. And it's a picture of what we will be like. We will spring up, you guys. We spring up into new life as we're born again. And our bodies will be, will be resurrected someday too with a new beautiful body. So here's the spring back to the beautiful garden again with God right? That beautiful place 
with God and it's just perfect. And there's fruit. <laughs> I like the summer fruit. I like watermelon myself, guys. I love it. And there's fellowship with other believers. And we all have young, beautiful bodies like these people. And uh, it's just the promise that God has for us. So in Acts chapter 14, in Acts 14, 17, he said, it says this, He did good and he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, satisfying your hearts with food and gladness. Isn't that beautiful, guys? So this is what it, this is the gospel. We see it right here in the very first book, in the first chapter, Breshit, if you're in Israel, or Genesis, if you're reading your Bible in English. And we see a picture and a portrait of the good news, the gospel, right there in the seasons, things that you can see every day. In fact, if you look at trees, sometimes when the wind blows and it's like the, the leaves are clapping and the arms are like the branches and they're praising God. I, I ask you, I challenge you, my friend, check out the trees sometimes when they're swaying in the wind and, and listen to your favorite worship music as you watch them. It'll blow your mind. You'll see God in nature. You'll see how even nature is groaning and waiting for Jesus' return to restore all things, to make them all new and alive and perfect again, restored to the, what they originally were meant for. Hey, I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit this playlist, by the way, Jesus in the Old Testament. You want to hit that because you're not going to miss anything. And it, and please consider subscribing if you're interested in that. And hit the little bell and you won't miss anything. I love you guys.